Hello again, Steve here. I didn't think we'd ever do it, but we are going to have a coffee chat on politics. Um, as you know, I'm not big on current states of politics, but um, it's certainly important in terms of our quality of life, I would think, because politics is involved in pretty much everything, right? So if something is out there, in there, around here, over there, and pretty much ubiquitous, then it's got to have an effect on our quality of life. So it's probably worth talking about. I just looked it up in terms of uh, etymology here, and there's a quote from Fisher Ames from, I guess, the 1700s. And it goes something like this. Apparently back then they spelled politics with a CKS at the end. Okay, politics is the science of good sense applied to public affairs. And as those are forever changing, what is wisdom today would be folly and perhaps ruin tomorrow. Politics is not science so much properly as it is business. It cannot have fixed principles from which a wise man would never swerve unless the inconsistency of men's views of interests and the capriciousness of the temper would be fixed which as we know that is not the case right now when that was Fisher Ames the, the beginning of it it says politics noun science of government from politic modeled after Aristotle's ta politica affairs of state um, yeah so so politics yeah and it's it's you know it, and, and the term is used I think a little bit more broadly it's probably related to the word policy I would think and you know there's politics within an organization even a large organization like I I'm a member of Toastmasters International, and at times people talk about a little bit of politicking going on within the organization, because it's a large organization, so people work in a certain way. I actually watched a um, uh, little documentary yesterday about voluntary societies. This lady in Australia, she was traveling around and looking at sustainable communities and she quoted somebody, I forget who it was, who talked about how a group, if you have a group of people who are looking after them, each other, sort of like a tribe, up to about a hundred people, there's no apparent need, it's basically it can be anarchy. And it functions quite well, people help each other out and so on. Because everybody has a connection, it's like a family connection, so you don't want to just dominate people in spite of their objection perhaps but whereas in large large organizations like as is the state there's a distance right and we dehumanize by calling people citizens and these sorts of things and then once we dehumanize we can farm human beings through the through the dehumanized person that they are uh, applied to and that has to do with politics too I think the, it's an affair of the state right so I think it's important I think it's important to talk about it and to sort of bring to light what it actually is you know what it was like what it is like today what is the possibility of for the future and our place within it so if you have any comments on that you can add to this upcoming coffee chat ideas and what we can talk about and so on you know feel free to write them down or forward them here you can write them underneath the video here if you want some comments so look forward to it politics how how does it affect the quality of our life experiences great chatting again steve here i'm going to carry on with a little walk and enjoy the 28 degree beautiful day with most of the forest fire smoke dissipated, at least thinned out. All right, talk again soon. Bye-bye for now.